BATC bursary scheme. Um, this is a really important scheme that to provide seed corn funding for new repeaters, um, new projects, um, and capital funding. Over to you, Noel. Yes, uh, hi Dave, and uh, welcome to Mission Control. Now this this could get uh, tricky because I'm actually uh, doing all the control and I've now got to uh, share my own screen, which is I think going to be, uh, I should be able to do it. Uh, there's lots of things that make, um, yeah, I thought that might happen. I need to move Zoom over here. Hang on. There's lots of things that make um, the BATC unique. And one of them is the fact that we're not really after your money. Um, we are we are in, in the luxury position that we're asking you to spend the money. Um, and uh, what we, how we do that is uh, through the BATC bursary fund. And what we say to people is, um, we want to spend the club's money to support ATV or projects which will benefit the ATV community. And that can be either in a local area, um, nationally or, or internationally. And over the last two years, it's been running for two years. We announced it at CAT 18. And it's been running for uh, the last two years. And we've had 14 applications approved. And actually, we did what decline one, but we'll come on and talk about that in a minute. And through the fund, we've, we've allocated more than £3,700 to projects. Uh, and so, you know, we we're unique in that respect that we we want to give you our or the club's money and the types of projects that we funded to date. I'll just run through each one of them so you can see the types of things we're interested in supporting. And so the very first one you've seen in action this morning and everybody used it. I think it was probably the best 500 pounds that BATC ever spent which was to provide the narrowband and wideband, uh, the narrowband SDR and the wideband spectrum monitor facilities down at Goonhilly. <clears throat> and we, um, we did that because we, we kind of saw that, um, particularly on the TV, without some form of spectrum monitor for everybody to look at, it was going to be difficult for people to know uh, what channel to transmit on. And so we we used that. That was probably the first application we put into the fund, and uh, we used that that money to provide the equipment down at Goonhilly. Second one was um, when Heather was developing the long mind receiver core code, which you've heard about this morning, which goes into Ride and the Portstown receivers. She needed a sync signal source, so we provided a filter modulator board. And the third one um, was for the regional CAP meetings that we held in 2019. Um, we offered to pay any uh, premises hire that people had, and the Bristol Regional CAP uh, were granted £200 towards that. And the fourth one, um, GB4HAM, which is uh, run up in the Sheffield area, is a is a mobile demonstration unit for amateur radio generally and we provided uh, some equipment towards that demo um the next three um we did actually purchase a high zofdm equipment for evaluation and loan equipment and i have to say we haven't um we haven't made the most of this acquisition, but if anybody is interested in uh, in borrowing this equipment, please contact the uh, the committee, and we can lend it to you. But in return, we would expect a CQTV article or a full review of it. Um, there's been a number of um, repeater applications which you'll see, and we did in fact improve a grant for uh, GB3XY in Hull. Um, that grant has not yet been spent. Uh, another grant which wasn't spent, unfortunately, 
was we did actually look at the possibility of providing a receiver and transmitter for OSCON 100 to be used at uh, DP0 VGN down in Antarctica. Um, unfortunately, it did get approved, but unfortunately due to uh, technical complications around uh, the uh, internet bandwidth and monitoring the uplink, it didn't get included. But the equipment that is down there that was used on the narrowband segment has got the capability to add DATV into it. So we may do that at some point in the future. Um, as I said, we've had a number of repeaters apply. Um, GB3CT, GB3GG, GB3KM, which Rob has just talked about. Um, we Here's an interesting one, and we'd encourage more of you to do this. Uh, Basingstoke Makerspace um, are putting up a dish, and one of the things they were interested in was, was monitoring uh, the, 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 the TV signals on uh, QO100, and we, uh, we provided a mini tuner for them. And the other uh, mini tuner that was provided was to Dwingelo, the 25 meter dish in in Holland and uh, that enabled them to uh, receive myself and Rob uh, during a recent uh, recent contest uh, in Holland. The other applications have been again for GB, uh, a repeater and this is the one we did decline which was GB3 NQ. The original application was to buy some second ambient peg 2 equipment which we decided really we weren't uh, we weren't prepared to support, but we encouraged the group to reapply for a ports down based transmit system, and uh, we offered any help at all to uh, to get that going. And the final one, more recently, has been um, for the ride set dot box uh, team. We provided a couple of hundred pounds worth of support through providing tuners and PCBs and Raspberry Pi 4s to Tim and other members of the team. And we did, in fact, uh, receive an application uh, last night, which isn't on the slide, from um, GB3 uh, FY. No, not FY. The one that Tim runs up in, um, up in Lancashire uh, for, a, uh, for a digital upgrade. So lots of applications and hopefully that's inspired one or two of you looking at that to uh, to think about how they you could use the money gb3 ft david just told me um gb3 ft applied last night for funding so how do you apply well you need a good idea and it's got to be support the future of amateur television um it's got to do something like that and we will only pay for capital costs. We won't pay for ongoing costs such as repeater site rental. And then you just need to fill in the form on the website. It's under uh, the club and um, club info and bursary fund. And we're willing to uh, consider applications from uh, not just from the UK. Uh, we will we will then consider it and we normally try and make a decision within seven days. The funding will be paid out retrospectively, i.e. you spend the money and give us a receipt. And also you have to prove to us that the project is going well. Uh, but uh, don't assume that just because the application is made that the funding will be made available. So, uh, yes, don't, don't spend the money on the basis of getting it uh, in case you don't. So basically, we need your good ideas and we'll give you money. And a couple of pictures. You've all seen the screenshot of the, uh, the uh, um, Goon Hilly Web SDR. Well, that's actually the, the picture on the left there is a picture of the, uh, the insides of the Goon Hilly Web SDR in our own dedicated little room. Picture on the right is actually not Goon Hilly, but is the Dwinglo dish. So um, we need your good ideas and we'll provide you with the money. So I think that just about wraps up what I've got to say, Dave. Um, I now need Thanks, to get Noel. back into control. <laughs> right. Thanks, Noel. Uh, you're doing a great job there. 
yes. Um, uh, it's really good to give an update on uh, the th the things the club is doing for the community. And remember, this is yeah. just paid for through through your subs. Um, yes, and we all, all we need is your ideas. Yeah. Um, what we're short of is the ideas um, that we can, um, but the committee needs some confidence that that idea can be seen through um, and is taking the hobby in the right direction. But uh, approval is generally quick if you've got a good idea.